Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I want to talk to you today about the astrology of Sunday, April 15th. Today we have a new moon in the sign of Aries. The Aries new moon occurs at um, 28 degrees of Aries and it is conjunct Uranus at 29 degrees of Aries. Uranus is about ready to move out of Aries and move into Taurus for a couple of months before it um, retrogrades and moves back into Aries and then back into Taurus uh, in 2019. So this is somewhat of the last hurrah of um, Uranus and Aries. The sign of Aries is the start of the zodiac. There is an energy of becoming, there is an energy of moving forward, there's a lot of force in Aries. The function of the force of Aries is to emerge and become. With Uranus, in a conjunction to that, we have an opportunity to become more than we ever imagined possible. Uh, Uranus is the energy that breaks us free from the constraints of uh, the status quo, the, the constraints of the social order. Uh, it deconditions us from the conditioning um, influence of Saturn. Saturn at this time is in Capricorn, very powerful position for Saturn. The ruling planet of Aries is Mars, and Mars is also in Capricorn. In fact, Mars is sandwiched between uh, Saturn and Capricorn on one side and Pluto and Capricorn on the other. Saturn, um, Saturn is one of the archetypes of Saturn, is the Grim Reaper. Of course, Pluto is the lord of um, the underworld. And we have Mars um, sandwiched between um, in Capricorn, which it actually likes being in. Um, so the force is there. And um, we have to be very aware of how we put ourselves forward. We have to be very aware of our intention. This really is about a new paradigm. And we have come up against the same old problems. And how do we reimagine? How do we act differently? How do we uh, take control of our own power instead of allowing others to decide what is best for us. That's part of this whole Aries scenario. And it's really not just about doing your own thing and, you know, getting your own way, but it's about how can we coexist in the world um, with others and um, live in a world that's not dominated by death, but dominated by the, uh, by life and uh, the ability to live with one another. The old paradigms are breaking down. It's time for us to respond to life in a different way. And that's part of what this Aries uh, new moon is asking us to do. So uh, even though it is uh, considered a warlike energy, it's really not about war. It's about survival. And uh, if we continue to do the same things that we did to quote unquote survive, uh, we're all, <laughs> none of us will. So this is an opportunity to reframe the conversation, do things differently, have your voice heard, and uh, let's work together toward a more peaceable solution for our planet for everyone living on the planet and all the creatures we share the planet with. Have yourself a great day. It is a tenuous time for all of us. So if we can put our energy in imagining what the world could be and then backing it up with action. Oh, incidentally, Mercury has gone direct. Mercury in Aries has gone direct. And so things will start to move forward. Uh, slowly at first, and then it will gather speed as Mercury moves out of its shadow. But know that things are moving forward and that uh, we can have an effect. Just make sure that the effect uh, is a positive one. I'll see you again tomorrow. Ciao.